So uh, brachytherapy is a commonly uh, used treatment in particularly cervical and endometrial cancers. Uh, it's also called internal radiation and it enables us to give a high dose of radiation to the area that's at greatest risk or the area that has the cancer, thereby minimizing toxicity and side effects and hurting any normal tissue around it. So it may not be suitable for all patients, but on the patients that it is suitable for, particularly in cervix and endometrial cancers, it is a very well utilized treatment option. So brachytherapy, like I said, is a treatment that is used to give dose to, of radiation straight to the area of the cancer and the area that has the highest risk. Now, this is done through uh, what we call an intracavity method, i.e. through the vagina or through the cervix. And this is a procedure that is usually done in a theatre setting where patients are either anaesthetized in some way or given some sort of sedation. At that point, patients are, are given, are, are, are have an applicator placed inside of them. And once that applicator is placed, they go on to have some imaging, either an MRI or a CT scan. When I get the information of where the location of the applicator is in relation to the tumor or the area or that is highest at risk of the cancer coming back, I would plan a specific treatment for the patient. And when that treatment planning is completed, the patient is taken to a radioprotective room to undergo the therapy itself. So brachytherapy is a treatment that's been given in a different variety of ways. So there is a high dose rate version of brachytherapy that is commonly used that is given over three to or three or four sessions. And so the patient has an applicator inserted uh, every few days for each session. In our center, uh, uh, in the NHS center that I work in, that we use a pulse dose rate treatment where there's one isolated insertion and a longer duration of treatment. So there are different versions, but these are the options that, that would be commonly available. So the great thing about brachytherapy is the side effect profile is slightly improved than external beam radiotherapy, but also we are able to get a higher dose. So generically, I would say the vast majority of patients have trouble with a bit of fatigue or tiredness after completion of treatment, sometimes a bit of backache or soreness in the back. And then we're talking about more specific symptoms related to the area that's treated. So the area that's treated gives a high dose of radiation to the bowel, the rectum, and the bladder. And these are symptoms that generally can it can continue to be the case for up to a few weeks, but a vast majority of my patients improve from the side effect profile after a few weeks. Yes, brachytherapy is commonly combined uh, with external beam radiotherapy. So it's usually uh, uh, added on at the end of external beam radiotherapy to give a much higher dose to the area of where the cancer is or where the cancer is higher at risk, highest at risk of coming back. And we know that with uh, the significant number of uh, really good clinical trials, that the higher dose that you give to this area gives you an increased local control. So despite brachytherapy not being a commonly, uh, un commonly known about treatment, it is an incredibly useful treatment for locally advanced cervical cancers and is used throughout the world. I've had experience of it in around the world and it's utilized very, very well. And it is a key, a key aspect of the curative treatment in locally advanced cervical cancers.